Hello all this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So this is the second video on um, basics of mechanical routing. So the first video is already uploaded in our channel. So you can go to the playlist and check out the first video. So in the first video we have discussed on basic terminologies that we are going to use in mechanical routing as well as uh, the procedure, the basic procedure that we need to follow uh, when we are going doing uh, you know mechanical routing so in this tutorial i'm going to show you i'm going to discuss with you about qualifying a part so qualifying a component so what is qualifying the components what are the uses of qualifying the components and what are the different types of you know qualifying parts so that we are going to discuss in this session so now as you can see here what is a qualifying a component so qualify component is nothing but it is a creating a different kinds of ports for that particular components suppose if there is any clip or any clamp or any other connector we have so if that component is having kind of a ports so we are going to discuss what is ports in the next session so if they have a ports in that means it is a uh, component is qualified so now uh, whenever it comes to mechanical routing or electrical routing so qualifying components we have already talked to many times that qualifying a component so now uh, what are the uses of uh, qualifying a component so when any component which is qualified um, when you import that particular qualified component in, into an nx assembly so nx is going to you know enable intelligent routing functions so there are some intelligent routing functions that are existing in nx routing workbenches so that will be automatically activated when you have imported a qualified components so now when it comes to intelligent uh, function so what are those how this uh, intelligent function works and what are those intelligent functions that are existing in nx routings so now we are going to discuss about what are the intelligent functions uh, that NX is going to enable when we have, you know, uh, imported a qualified component. Say for example, you are importing a qualified component into an NX assembly and that point uh, the NX is able to understand by using the qualified parts or qualified ports, it is it can be able to understand the placement of that particular component, where it can be able to fit or where it can be placed into a uh, your assembly and also it can able to understand how this can be constrained completely constrained in the assembly and as well as some routing functions say for example uh, backward extension forward extension and other some uh, routing functionalities can be able to understand for nx so these are the you know intelligent functions that uh, you know nx can be able to enable when uh, qualified components are imported into an assembly so now we'll go to check what are the different types of ports so when we have a ports into any component so we can easily tell that the component is completely qualified so now we can see here there is a one connector and it is having a ports these are the ports so all the three ports are having uh, we can see here so you can see all these three uh, you know arrows so which shows that uh, these are the ports so these are this uh, when we have these kind of uh, ports we can say that this component is completely qualified so now uh, we have two parts of uh, ports here so one is fitting port and fixture ports so what is meaning by fitting port so fitting port is used to define a termination point for a tube or pipe say for example you can see here this is a uh, qualified component and this is going to be a fitting port symbol so this is going to be a termination for the pipe say for example one pipe is coming from on end and it is going to end it over here so from this point there will be a connector so again there will be a routing that goes from this point again there will be a one more uh, routing that goes from this point so that is what the meaning so it is not a continuation of uh, you know routing pipe or a tube it is an termination the end point of particular tube that is called as a fitting port so now when it comes to fixture port it is just an opposite it is not a termination it is a continuous routing path so for example now you can see a fixture port is used when the stock passes through a component there is no break in the stock say for example uh, below we can see here this is a so this is a clip and you can see here this is a symbol for fixture port so suppose when whenever a component is there and if you have this kind of uh, port then we can easily say this as a fixture port and when this fixture port is existing then whenever a pipe routing pipe comes to this port and it is not going to stop it here so it has to pass through this particular clamp whereas in fit fitting port it has to stop 
so only this is the major difference between this uh, fitting port and fixture port so in the next video i'm going to show you how we can qualify the components so how we can create these uh, fixture port and fitting port onto any of the component and how we can able to qualify the components so that's all guys so if you have uh, any questions please comment in the section below i will try to answer please subscribe to my channel hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys